Hi guys, and welcome to Florida Day. Six. You and I till the end. Don't be too pretend. Today is a little bit of a different one for us because we're actually going to have a hotel pool day. We're having a bit of a chill out morning slash early afternoon. Yeah, so if you've watched our Florida vlogs before then you'll know that we usually do two parks, like park day, park day, walk park day, etc, etc. Um, but we've never actually stayed around the hotel pool and we think it'll be really good for Cooper because it looks really fun. the hotel fun. pool here will be perfect for him. Yeah. Yeah, and we have never actually done it, so it's a little bit of a different day for us. Yeah, it's very different for and us. And I think we need like a refresh, recharge the batteries, ready to hit the second week with force. Yeah, 100%. Also, the storms last night, like as in in the night, they actually woke me up. Yeah, they it was bad raining last night. and thundering that much. Yeah. I'm hoping it's got it all out of its system now. <laughs> like the river looks really, really high. Yeah, it does. Like, when I tell you it was so loud, it was yeah. raining so heavily. Yeah, it was. I just, I know, like, I think, is it rainy season? Yeah, thunderstorm season. Yeah, yeah, and like, we knew that when we were coming, but you never think it's gonna be every day, do you? I'll be honest, in Florida, you can never pick your weather. No, you can't. It's so temperamental, it's yeah. true. But anyway, what seems to be happening is it's lovely in the day and then it's raining at night, which to be fair, if I had to choose, I'd rather it be nice in yes, the day. Yes, I would. So it's not the end of the world, but hopefully we're praying that it turns out nice. Well, that it keeps nice all day, all night, because we want to go into some parks. We just want to watch the night show. Yeah, we want to go into the parks tonight, watch a show, maybe go on a few rides, have yeah. some nice tea. Yeah. So yeah, we're hoping that it's... What park are we thinking of tonight? I have an idea. Let's see if it's the same as yours. I've got two ideas. Go on then. There's Hit one. The yours. Mine was Epcot or Fantasmic. Mine was Epcot tonight, okay. definitely. I think Guardians of the Galaxy is just on my mind 24-7. <laughs> boarding pass. You have to go on at one then and get yeah, it. Yeah, well I didn't go for the morning boarding pass because obviously I didn't think we'd get there. So I'm going to be on it at one o'clock trying yeah. to get there. We also missed their night show. And we were in Hollywood yesterday. Yes, and we were in Hollywood actually yesterday. Plus, if we are thinking of going in a little bit earlier today, we could get quite a few little rides done. We haven't done Remy's Ratatouille. Yeah. He will love that. Yeah, he will. He loved Mickey and Minnie's, and it's like the same sort Tommy's of Tommy's got a friend ride. as well who brought their baby when he was similar age and said he loved... Was it, is it he or she? I'm not sure. He. Um, he absolutely loved Remy's, didn't he? So yeah, he did, yeah. We think Cooper might enjoy it. Yeah. What's been your favourite park so far? Oh, my God. Because mine's really shocked me. Which park's been my favourite? <laughs> like, my favourite day so far. Your favourite day's been Hollywood? No. Really? No, Epcot. Really? Yeah. Which, like, I love Epcot, I love all of the parks, but usually Epcot's like the bottom for yeah, me. Uh, yeah, exactly the same. I've loved Epcot, like, our Epcot day for me has been the best day. I think he loved it. There were so many good rides for him, like Frozen. When you actually, yeah, when you actually do Nemo, think about it. Um, what else? Living with the Lands. Yeah, there was some For us, good there was Soaring. Uh, like, I, I don't know, just Epcot's been my favourite day so far, which has really shocked me. What's yours been? I honestly don't know. I think Animal Kingdom's still been my best day. Has it? Yeah, I think it was good with him, it was good for us. I think it was just an all out fantastic day, Animal Kingdom. I mean, they've all been good, to they be have. fair. Honestly, there's a, there's a, there's nothing between them all. No. But yeah, Epcot has, not surprised me, because I have always loved Epcot, but mm. it surprised me that it's my number one at the minute. Yeah. For like the best day. Anyways, we're just heading into the canteen. We're going to get some breakfast. We're all hungry. Um, and this is our view. Absolutely glorious. I'll just never. Orleans. Absolutely beautiful. I'll just never get over. No, just look at it. It's absolutely gorgeous. So, breakfast choices today we've got a pancake bounty platter because we thought Cooper might like the pancake. And then Mickey shaped waffles. I, I just wanted waffles, <laughs> but, I, but then she was like, oh, it comes with the bacon and sausage. Yeah. Right, fair enough, I'll have them. You liked the bacon and waffle right. combo last time with mm. the syrup. 
I do fancy waffles on their own. Ah. Uh, but I'll drink. And then we've got an orange juice and a dragon fruit power it vitamin water. Yeah, that is the bomb. It's the holy grail. We accidentally got the wrong flavour at Walmart, didn't we? Yeah, we I did. mean, I like it, but. Cooper, would you like a little bit of pancake? What do you think of pancake, little man? Oh, I think he likes that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, that's a hit. <laughs> Right, go on, are you going? Are you going for the syrup on yours? Uh, don't think so, no. No, you're not embracing. No, don't oh, think right, so. Okay. No, because I haven't got waffles, and Cooper's probably going to eat my pancakes. I'm going to eat my bacon sausage and then syrup. Got yeah. Waffles. Them waffles do look really good, and yeah. they're mini as well, look with the little buzz. Um. <clears throat> so you've got mini and mini. Waffles. You. Sometimes when you're in Disney, you just need a minute to take it all in. And that is exactly what we're doing. We're sat on these beautiful rocking chairs. Cooper's fast asleep. Relaxing. We're chilling out. We've got about 10 minutes before the pool opens. We've got our resort mugs full of ice cold drink. Oh, and we're just lunch. enjoying the scenery yeah. and the, the views and the weather. And just taking it in and appreciating the fact that we're here. It's so nice. Yeah. Like these rocking chairs, I don't even know if every hotel will have them. I don't, because it's quite a riverside -y sort of theme, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, is. Me and Tom have literally been sat chilling for 40 minutes because Coops has been asleep. He's literally just waking up now. And this just feels so abnormal in Disney. It feels weird. It feels really, really strange. Like, I don't know if I like it. No, I don't like it. I like the chill. I've got something in my eye, by the way, if it looks like I've been but crying. I feel like I'm missing out. Dream. I feel like I should be doing more with my time. I feel like there's so much of a things we could be doing. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I just don't think a pool day. I mean, we'll see what we think at the end of the day, but I don't think a pool day is for us. We were saying what we probably should have done. I think it's because it doesn't open until 10 o'clock. Like, if it opened at 8 o'clock or 9 o'clock, fine. But obviously, Coops is awake at 6 and then we've not got nothing to do. Whereas normally, he's awake at 6. We're up and out at like half 7 in the park on the rise. Do you know what I mean? Um, so we were saying when we want a bit more of a relaxed day it's probably best to get up go to a park ride some rides and then come back at like lunchtime and have a chilled afternoon i think that's what we're going to do next time aren't yeah. we rather than having like chill days actually make the most of the first few hours in the morning and then come back and chill for the afternoon i think that's probably going to work best for us um because yeah you just feel like you're missing out on those couple of hours in the morning where the pool isn't open but yeah just a little food for thought um the pool's fairly busy, but not like massively busy, is it? No. Um, but like I say, little baby boys just woken up. Yeah. He's excited, though. I mean, we've woke him up. <laughs> we woke up a bit like startled, oh, ready to go. Yeah. I am to be right after the swimming pool, yeah. So then we're just gonna give him a minute to wake up. What time is it? Twenty to eleven. Give him a minute, minute to wake up, get in his swim stuff, and then go for a little swim in the pool. That sounds good, chops. It's just people watching.
deep down, I know you it's now lunchtime. We've had a lovely morning just swimming and chilling and refreshed. The batteries are recharged. Yes. Mine definitely yes. are. Cooper's having his dinner. Um, so we thought we'll get some dinner at the same time. Now, granted, it won't ages ago since we had breakfast, and it was a very good breakfast, by the way. So we've decided to get the chicken strips to share, haven't we? Yeah. It's like a bit of an appetizer. So standard chicken strips to share, but if you know, they are the bomb. Of all chicken strips in the world, they are the best. Yeah. Trust me on that. Um, and then. Everywhere I keep seeing um, in our hotel how they're advertising this bun. Have you been having a bit of green on your lips? No, it's because every time I touch it, yeah, I've just got it out of the packet, and every time I touch it, it's like on me. Because it's melting a little bit. But this is the themed spooky bun or whatever that's advertised everywhere, so we had to try it because it's out now and, and if you here don't it is. Back in Halloween, you're not gonna have a try that Exactly, before, that bun yeah. is only here this time of year. Speaking of Halloween though, like we, we were just talking to actually some of you guys that watch us and we were talking about um, coming at this time of year and we actually love it. It's I, not too dissimilar from May at all. Do you know what? It, it's really not. The weather's, it, everyone says oh it's storm season or tornado season. It's been the exact same as it has been in May for us. I mean, maybe we've just got a little bit lucky, but it, we haven't seen any difference in the weather yeah, at yeah. all. It rains in May when you come How it, Exactly. However, the ride times are so short. They were saying, they were literally on walk-ons for Flight of Passage yesterday in Animal Kingdom. I'm hoping it's kind of the same for the next couple of weeks, although this weekend might be um, busy because it's some form of holiday in, other, in America. Sorry, we're just talking to someone. you've got three minutes so you can leave pass. You now. Oh my god, three minutes till Guardians of the Galaxy, I would have forgotten that, so I need to get on the app and start refreshing. So, scrap that, we've just found out that you have to be in the park to be oh, able to o'clock. get in the virtual queue. But you don't in the morning because obviously the park's not open, um, but to get the one o'clock slot, is that 100%? Does it say that? It literally says to join the vir virtual queue. None of your parties are eligible due to this time being the park. It did say that. Okay, so just a little FYI, don't be like us and like wait because, and then try and do it before you go in the park so you will be able to do it. So I'm just go in the park. It makes you in the park from like five to one and then you can be on it at one o'clock because Tommy's now gutted. I'm absolutely I mean, luckily we're literally on day six. You know, you can go on it again, but it, yeah. imagine if it was your last day and you were like, yes, I'm going to go ride it and then you're here and you can go on it. I'm Well, yeah, but I'm just, this is why I'm telling these guys. Right. They don't make the same mistake as this day. Anyway, so Tommy's going to try the bun. I don't know how to unlock that. It's got this fancy case here. Oh, wow, that's a solid. Oh. Solid bun. Don't know the best way around this. So I just go ha. <laughs> yeah. Ha, ha, ha. Yeah. Oh. oh. Side. Side. Yeah. Yeah, I would. <coughs> I've got it everywhere. <laughs> Don't worry. Is it, well, is it just like plain chocolate with icing on the top? Oh. Really? Not a bad. Oh really? Does the icing have a flavour to it? Yeah. Right. So out of ten, what we think? Trying to work out which one it is that I don't like. Oh, the chocolate or the icing? I want to say I don't like it. That's oh not. no. You've got it on your nose. Probably like a five out of ten, maybe. Oh, so it's not bad. It's also no, not amazing. Exactly. You won't get it again. No, no, no. Oh, you know it's not going to be amazing. It's like fridge cold. Yeah, it is fridge cold. It's not a warm bun, is it? Even not warm, just like. Room temperature, but yeah, it's like a normal. I don't know, I didn't expect it to be cold. Yeah, I'm gonna try to Honestly, I don't think you'll think it's that bad then. Mm. It's just a weird together. It's like banana. Yeah, I think it is banana, isn't it? Mm. Yeah. I love banana, but maybe not banana chocolate. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Don't try it. Yeah. What's Cooper think to it? He's looking at me like this. Oh, I've never liked chocolate cake. You've just had a full bite of everything, haven't you? Mm. See, your lips have gone a bit greeny. It's nicer with the topping. Yeah. I'd give it six and a half. Mm. Are you getting our yes, we are. I don't even 
even know if the camera will do that justice, but we just got dropped off at Epcot and this just started happening. It's absolutely torrential, so we're just sheltering in here for two minutes. We're gonna get ponchoed up. Hopefully this stops because we've got a lot to do. We don't want to stand under here all night, do we? So I did just say it's only gonna last 10 more minutes and then well, who knows? We could be stood under here for a while. This is the first. I've got a hot drink in Florida. Usually we go to Starbucks, I always get a cold drink. Yeah. And annoyingly, I forgot to take my phone in there and I've got the app to scab. And the amount of Starbucks to drink here as well, I have to remember that. Anyways, I've gone for a pumpkin spice latte, two pumps of syrup. Absolutely love pumpkin spice latte. Tom Costa, yeah, Costa from Starbucks. Kind of gala, yeah. Did her over there. And Tommy's gone for our normal. I tried maca with a pump of hazelnut. Well, just hazelnut syrup. I don't know hazelnut how many pumps. You added the hazelnut. You don't usually always get the hazelnut, no, do you? I should maybe remember to not get it with hazelnut. You prefer it without. Sometimes less is more, innit? If you want it to taste like a bueno, add the hazelnut. But if you want just a standardised white, a standardised coffee, just get that. Wow, I was just gonna say it's calming down. We're sat on a bench drinking our coffees. I was gonna say the rain's stopping, but uh, it looks like the clouds are just opened. Um, it is pounding it down. You can see it bouncing off the floor. True representation of a day in the life. Do you know what? As well, earlier on we were saying the weather's not being bad. <laughs> I know, but it, you, but like. Even this, you get this in May, like this happens all year round. It'll, it'll do this for probably an hour and then it'll all clear up and it'll be a lovely night. Yeah, that's what I'm manifesting be, anyway. The show will be nice and it'll be, I, I've come back to this one in, well, you guys will see it in like right now, but mm -hmm. it, for us in about two hours it will be sky clear and yeah, it's really, really nice weather. Cooper's nice and cosy and stuff in there anyway. He's not getting wet, but I think we're just going to sit here for a bit now, enjoy our coffees and stay sheltered. And just like that, we've drank our coffees. We've had a lovely chill, bit of chill time. And the rain stopped. Love it. That being said, we are now out. Look, in all our clothes, no ponchos anymore. And we're desperate to ride Remy's Ratatouille. Um, adventure is it called remy's ratatouille ride basically in france but we <laughs> are desperate for him to ride it so we're going to wait for him to wake up and then we're going to go and get on that also <coughs> we can do when he wakes up we can go around the moana garden go around the moana gardens because again you can't take your prams around there basically not going to go back tonight to no up, we're obviously coming oh, like no. we love to come in for the day go back fresh and come back or go somewhere else yeah, yeah. but like, because we've come in late, there's no harm. No, we're just gonna, we're, we're staying. And also, with that rainfall that's just happened, all the queue times have just died. Yeah. So, a lot of people have gone back, like you say, to freshen up maybe and come back and watch the night show, which starts at nine. <laughs> so we might get some really good rides done. Yeah. Um, with that being said, Soarin's 10 minutes. Now, you know us, you know we love Soarin. And 10 minutes is basically a walk on, so we're just gonna go and do that each and enjoy it. And then, yeah, hopefully, after that, he might be a wrap. You can still hear the thunder, but don't worry, because it's not raining. We can deal with thunder as long as it doesn't rain. And also, this is your sign. You come equipped. Come be with equipped. a little brolly, come with your ponchos, come with your if you've got children. Get your ponchos. From wherever you're from. Yeah. Do not buy them we, here. This time, last time we didn't, and we bought them like twenty dollars a puncture. More than home. that, like twenty five dollars each. Yeah, but this is just time to just come prepared because honestly, like I can't even explain. That didn't even phase us at no, all. No, we were. We were I was high. actually once he was covered and we were covered. And even not really us. I'm not really that bothered. Once he's covered and you know like all your cameras and that But it's always good when we're dry as well. Oh absolutely, that now's fantastic. Like we actually thoroughly enjoyed that rise last night on the other hand. We didn't come prepared with any of our stuff. We got absolutely drenched and we were like oh, We're panicking a lot. Us. Yeah. So yeah. So yeah, we're gonna do Yeah. So we're gonna do soaring and then hopefully it'll be around the time for him to wake up. We can go and get on Remy's as well.
really asking We'll get away to a place where we don't know About to see the world in action What we can be, life with no distractions We'll get away, this is what we waited for concentrating more on Cooper than I was enjoying the ride because it, I literally blinked and it was it was done. Is the one in Paris longer or is it the same? I don't know. We uh, yeah, that'd be good if anyone can help us out in the comments. Is it longer or is it the same ride? Cooper enjoyed it. I wouldn't say it was his favourite, but he did yeah. enjoy it. Yeah, that's exactly what I would have said. He did keep manage because when we were trying to put the glasses on him before having none of it was not enjoying that took him off. however once we got into the ride and he watched it it was, must have been blurry for him and then i put the glasses on him left them on the and whole also time he was distracted by watching what was going on yeah so he didn't really notice us putting them on him no and he kept the glasses on the entire time and he seemed like he enjoyed he it he was quiet and looking around which tells us that he's like oh, yes he's if he's not him. like ur, 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 he's enjoying it so i think it was a win yeah. Not his favourite, but a win still all the same. I would still say his favourite has been Frozen, Navi, and Nemo and Friends, I think. Yeah, maybe Nemo. What have your, what have your top three rides been so far? Uh, Guardians of the Galaxy, number yeah. one, by a country mile. Yeah. Um, I actually really enjoyed Navi River Cruise because of him. Yes, yeah, And then... I know you're going to say Trob. Yeah. Trump. But I would actually put Avatar in. Mm. It's very close. The only reason that Tron has the edge over Flight of Passage right now is because it was brand new yeah, and fresh. Maybe. Yeah. And it was our first time on it. Less. I yeah. still think Flight of Passage think, is I a better think ride. Yeah. So yeah. Good. Good assumption. <laughs> These are what we've got, a portion each, they have drink, portions. and look at the view, absolutely stunning. Stunning view. We had these last time we came, I remember them being really nice. Reminding us that we are more alike than we are different. A rhapsody of rhythms that unites us and connects us
now the next morning as you can probably tell um we couldn't actually end the vlog last night because our battery died and then by the time we got into the hotel he was fast asleep we didn't want to wake him up yeah it had just been a nightmare so we thought we'll just end it in the morning but do you know what going back into epcot was such a good shout like it didn't Great rain job. once after it was absolutely incredible the fireworks were a little bit too loud for him this time he had his earmuffs on and it still kind of woke him up yeah it wasn't horrendous no it wasn't i think it's just naturally because you're closer to the fireworks than you yeah, are in magic kingdom that's so true and he actually woke up and then just like cuddled into us and watched them, yeah. them which was it, it was actually, actually lovely yeah it was really really nice by the way it actually still looks like night anyway so yeah it does we probably could have got away with it barring the different outfits yeah. um but yeah we just thought we'd come on and end this video here we really hope you've enjoyed spending another day with us if you have then please don't forget to give the video a big thumbs up make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so that you never miss a video and we shall see you in the next one bye, bye.